There's cheap makeup and there is cheap makeup. Hi cousins, it's Kemi. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see from the title, today we're going to be testing out Boots own beauty brand, the brand 17. I believe this brand has been around for a while, but they got discontinued back in 2018, but now they've revamped and rebranded the brand. If I'm not going to lie to you guys, this is actually my first time hearing of the brand, so I can't tell you guys if the products have improved or not because I've never actually tried the brand before. So this is gonna be a first impression of the brand itself. I won't lie to you guys, there are some pretty good and some questionable products in today's video, so get ready for like mixed emotions in today's video. But honestly cousins, I was blown away by the price point of this brand like nothing nothing was over five pounds but sometimes when the product is too cheap does the quality you know decreases as well that's the question so if you guys are interested in seeing some pretty good decent products for a really good price then please carry on watching all right cousins so i'm thinking to do our usual routine we're gonna do brows first then skin follow up with eyes and then finish off with lips just to keep it as simple as possible i'm actually more interested in the skin products i'm very very intrigued by it because it's just so affordable and it looks like they have a decent shade range. It's not the best, obviously, but for the price you're paying, I feel like it's pretty decent. Well, I don't know yet. Let me see how the products perform and then we can, you know, judge it. Hopefully they turn out good, we pray. But for now, just by looking at it, it looks pretty damn good. Okay, so starting off because I can no longer see myself like this <laughs> like any brows on my face so we're gonna start with the 17 full definition brow pencil i have got the shade dark brown i believe this is the darkest shade they have this is their precise brow pen create hair like strokes transforming sparse brows into fuller looking brows for natural everyday look you guys know i have the sparse of the sparse brows <laughs> um so i'm definitely gonna be needing this oh one side is a spoolie and one side is the pencil <laughs> i don't know what my brain was thinking there like i just went dead for a second normally i go in with my benefit precise to my brows obviously this is literally like so much cheaper than that i actually usually like this type of shape of brow pencils because they're quite skinny and you can actually like get the strokes that you want but this one's a little bit fatter than my usual ones that I go for. But for the price, I'm not really too fast. <laughs> Let's see how dark she is. I mean, it's very warm. But what I'm going to do to help it a little bit is just dry out my brows. Because I said you guys know that I went with my skincare already. So I'm just going to brush my brow hair up. I have gone in and done my brows already in terms of like I've gone in and waxed it earlier on today so we're gonna start drawing our brows i mean it is showing up pretty nicely but it is quite light for a brow product it is quite light for me i know did i say that this retails for £2.50 i don't know if it's £2.50 or £3.50 because i do have the boots card and i believe you get a discount if you have a boots account so the price i paid for it was £2.50 but i don't know if you don't have the boots card if it's £3.50 but nonetheless like for an eyebrow pencil with a spoolie it's a pretty decent bargain but it is quite warm and it has that reddish undertone you can actually see my brow hair is actually quite darker than the pencil itself i don't think it's this darker shade i want to say it might not be i mean it's decent you know I don't really like it oh no <laughs> it's not bad but it's just not for me i think because i don't have brows so whenever i use a brow product i want it to be quite dark and i want it to show up and plus because my wig is actually you know jet black it just makes the color stand out even more so yeah i don't like it i mean it's a brow pencil it showed up it's just the color is a little bit off on me honestly i feel like i would still use it if i had like brown chocolatey hair or if i'm wearing like a lighter wig i might use this just because it's quite soft anyway i'm gonna go and conceal my brows using other products because i typically don't change the products that i use to conceal my brows because i like my concealer for my brows to be a little bit more skin like because obviously i don't want that halo 
brows. So I'm gonna quickly go conceal my brows and I'll be right back. You know what? I was shitting on this before, but it's actually not a bad product. It's actually quite decent. <laughs> Like now that I've concealed my brows, yes the colour is still a bit off, but I don't hate it, but it's not my favourite. Yeah, so when it comes to primers, I believe the brand has about two to three primers, but don't quote me on that because I'm not too sure. But I have the 17 Photo Filter Balm Primer, and I also got the Base Glow Illuminating Primer. The last one I believe they have is the Matte primer which i think is pretty decent because they try to cater to like a different skin type the matte one obviously to cater to oily skin the photo filter one i believe is meant to be like universal and i believe the base glow illuminating primer is for like you know dry skin babes the photo filter balm primer was five pounds and the base glow illuminating primer was four pounds five pounds is the highest price on their product which is like pretty pretty good so i'm gonna go in with the photo filter balm primer it claims to be lightweight and instantly achieve a smooth and perfect skin look it offers a flawless finish whilst making the skin feels smooth and silky oh everything i love i'm just gonna rub my finger in this like so it doesn't really have any scent to it with like primers like this I find that it works best if you like tap it into your skin rather like swirling it into the skin. It has like kind of matted my skin a little bit as well. Can you guys see like here? I can feel like I have got something on my skin. We'll see how well it performs once we have the foundation and everything else on top. Just in case you guys are interested, I'm going to show you guys what the glow eliminating primer looks like like that i'm just gonna massage this oh i don't know if this is picking up on camera but it does have like a gold reflex on it like can you see the difference oh this is pretty decent but i also feel like it has changed the color of my skin <laughs> next i want to go in with the 17 dewy prep setting spray is their super lightweight glow setting spray it has a subtle gloss finish to your makeup it says their spray is infused with coconut water for a smooth looking skin you should set makeup or touch up during the day for an all day dewy look so i believe they did have a matte setting spray as well and this retails for five pounds as well i'm gonna spray this on mm smells nice it doesn't have that chemical smell it does shoot at you it's not like a fine mist it smells pretty good and we'll see how well this works as well like the primers and the setting spray you can only know they work truly once you've worn your makeup i can tell you it's nice now but then it could be trash at the end and i can tell you it's trash now and it could be like the best thing and it holds my makeup for the whole day by the way i've got everything from boots if you guys are wondering where to purchase this from Everything was purchased on Boots website itself and it got to me about two days after me ordering it. So it was quick shipping as well. When it comes to foundation, I believe this is the only foundation type they had on the website. It is their second skin enhancing foundation. It comes in 20 different shades and it retails for £5. This is what it looks like. It comes in this tubey form. Honestly, I do like the packaging. And I like the fact that they did try. Honestly, 20 shade isn't enough in this day and age where like brands are coming out with like, you know, 50 different shades. But for a cheap drugstore brand, I think that is a pretty good effort in trying to cater to skin tones. And I really like the fact that they had different undertones. They had a Y, N and P, which I believe is a yellow undertone, neutral undertone and pink undertone. Kudos to Boots for that. Not a lot of drugstore brands are actually came to different people's undertones. I picked up the shade 005 Neutral and 007 Nutri. Personally, after a long, long search of finding the right undertone for me, the undertone that I overall like is a neutral undertone. Sometimes I do like a little bit of red and a little bit of golden undertone. Depends on the day and depends on the other makeup products I'm using on that day as well. But in general, I personally like neutral foundation shades on myself. I just feel like it looks better on me and complements my skin tone and complements other products that I use 
on top better this is the darkest shade they have on the website you guys know that i like to pick up the darkest shade of foundation whenever i can just because it will help me you know tone down the foundation shade that i get or like help me like contour but from looking at the bottle it looks like it might be a tad just a tad bit lighter than me but it's looking pretty decent if this is the shade that's inside you guys know that the packaging we're playing you like you think it's one shade and then when you open it it's another shade the foundation claims to be long lasting with a medium coverage for a natural healthy looking base so this is the shade 005 and this is the shade 007 which honestly speaking 005 isn't too bad obviously i will have to go in and mix i know that some of you guys don't like mixing in foundations which is totally understandable because in 2022 we shouldn't be having to mix foundations to get our right shade but i'm also giving them a chance because one they're drugstore two the pressure pay for it is really affordable and three is the first relaunch so i'm hoping that they'll come out with more launches and expand their shade Oh, that's not bad, you know. Wait, hold up. Is this drying up on me? But yo, that match is pretty damn good. Hello. First impression, you need to work quick with this foundation because it does dry down. It's giving me like a matte finish and nowhere on the bottle did it say it was gonna give me a matte finish? I wasn't really expecting that. <laughs> Personally, the coverage on the foundation I think is a light medium, not a full medium. But I must say the color match is actually pretty, pretty good. Just wasn't expecting this finish, but it's fine. <laughs> Anywho, next concealer. So I picked up the 17 Second Skin Enhancing Concealer, which is literally the same as the foundation. So I picked up the shade 003Y and 003P. So this is 00Y, which is a pretty decent shade. And then 00P, which is this shade. I want like, I think they've done a pretty good job of like naming these like according to what they are because you guys know some brands will tell you something is neutral when it's like really really red. So this is the part that's going to make or break the makeup look for today because the foundation it needs to be right but you can always finesse it but when your concealer is just off baby there's no fixing it. So I'm hoping that these concealers are really good. I usually like you know really full coverage concealers um quite yellow. Oh, this feels pretty creamy. Okay. By the way, I'm using the 003 concealer. I'm gonna blend it out with a brush so that, you know, I can keep the coverage. Oh, it's not giving me coverage. It's not giving me coverage. It's not giving me coverage. Let me try my sponge. Okay. Again, I just feel like the coverage on them isn't what they claim to be like. This is my third layer, by the way. Going in like heavy with the concealer just for it to show up. I'm going to use another brand's concealer just to highlight the rest of my face. Like I said, I did pick up the darkest concealer shade that they have, which is 004 Neutral. I picked up to like, you know, bronze my skin with, but because of the shade looks a little bit too close to my skin tone. I can't obviously contour with that. So I'm gonna use the foundation shade and a small blending brush. I'm just gonna use that to bronze up my face. I really like this shade. Oh, this is beautiful. I can see myself using this in the future just to like help me bronze up my face. I like that. I really like that. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention that the concealer comes in 10 different shades and it's exactly the same as the foundation with the undertones. They have the same shade, but with different undertones. And guess how much this is, cousins? Guess how much this concealer is? Two pounds. Two pounds, cousin. Can you believe that? Two bloody quid. Are you kidding me? Like, obviously it's not the best quality and you do have to go in with multiple times, but... 
I've had the concealers crease up on me in the past and they were like more expensive than this. Like way more expensive than this. So I think it can run. For cream blush, these retail for four pounds and they come in five different shades. I picked up the shade Deep Pink and Peach Dreams. These are the two that, you know, look like it will complement my skin tone. I'm gonna mix the two. So I picked up the Ultimate Look Finishing Powder in the shade 070 and 060. I think I'm gonna go in with 070. Like I guess the powder is pretty decent. It has like plugged up in some dry patches, but it's fine. Next, I picked up the Perfecting Finishing Translucent Powder. This is a super flattering, silky finish powder, which is easy to set makeup in place whilst giving your complexion the glow it deserves. Honestly, because I typically don't like powders like this. You know, they're extremely like fine um, powders I don't like, and especially when it's like streak white like this, I, you guys can't even see it, I typically do not like. Powders like this do not work on my skin and it's already like oh, yeah you see this is why oh, yeah no 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 just throw that in the bin set the rest of my face i did pick up the ultimate look finishing powder but this time in the shade 090 i believe this is the darkest shade they have hopefully it matches me oh okay i think that's a good match hello Okay, that's looked like it's matched me perfectly. Hmm. That's actually matched me really, really well. Yay! Okay, so when it comes to eyeshadow, the brand actually had, I want to say, quite a few products for eyes. They had an eye primer and a couple eyeshadows and some, like, single eyeshadows as well. I picked up the 17 eyeshadow palette in the shade 010 Golden because I thought it was, like, a nice neutral-ish palette. But looking at it right now in real life, all the shades look like they will not show up on me. So we're not going to use her because I'm not even going to bother. But what I will use is these mini shadow pop eyeshadows. I've got the shade 070 Midnight Blue and 080 Olive Green. They look pretty nice. Let's try swatching them. Okay, not as pigmented and kind of chalky. So what I'm going to quickly do is just go in with another eyeshadow palette and just quickly do an eye look and then use the shadows on top. Okay, so now it's time to test out this shadow pops. Okay, that is quite chalky. I'm gonna put a blue at the front part of my inner corners. And then put the green, the olive green, right at the edges. Actually, the green, the olive green is actually really pretty, even though you guys can't actually see it. For the shadow pop, it's not really popping. <laughs> it's not popping, guys. It's not popping whatsoever. So next, I picked up the 17 Ink Legend Tattoo Eyeliner. These look pretty cool. I picked up the shade black and blue. Oh, yeah, that looks pretty good. Whilst I wait for the liquid eyeliner to dry, I'm gonna dust the fallout and the excess powder off my face. For mascara, I did pick up the 17 Ultimate Lasting Curl Mascara. I'm not really too fussed about mascaras, but I do like the shape of this. It's really like grips in my eyelashes. Hold on, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Please tell me the liquid eyeliner did not oxidize to a black. It did not just do that, no. <laughs> like, you guys saw the color of the blue, right? <laughs> Before I apply my lashes, I'm gonna go back in with the dewy sand spray and then set my face one last time. 
Oh, by the way, I did pick up blushes, but I'm not even gonna bother because they're just not going to show up on my skin tone whatsoever. I thought they were darker online. Okay, so final step, I picked up five lip products from the brand 17. I've got the 17 matte lipstick in the shade Blushing Nude and Old Rose. And I've got the lip gloss in the shade Caramel and Glitter Nude. And I also picked up this lip boost and shine gloss. Why oh, should I use this? But I think I'm gonna go in with their matte lipstick in the shade Blushing Nude. Let's see. No. <laughs> Let's try this again. Just applying this shade in the middle. So cousins, we have come to the end of today's video. What do you guys think? Like before I even get started, let me know what you think down below right now. Comment down below what you think about the brand and comment down below what products you like the most as well. I'm gonna go through each product and tell you guys the pros and cons of them because I have some feelings about some of these products, okay? Okay, so starting off, we have the Full Definition Brow Pencil. Like I mentioned earlier, the product works. It's just that the shade was a little bit off on me. I would use it again, but I wouldn't recommend unless you like light brows. Next is the primer. Funny enough, I actually do like the primer. Like my skin overall looks super smooth. I will be using the primer again. I do like it. And with the setting spray as well, definitely the setting powder is just a no from me. And also the eyeshadow is a no from me. The foundation I actually do like, especially the shade 007. I love for like my overall contour slash bronze. It does dry down fast, so I do prefer it using it for contouring my skin rather than as a foundation. As a foundation, it does look pretty good on the skin, I won't lie. It's pretty decent and for the price as well, absolute chef kiss. I feel like because the products are so cheap, you do need to work a bit more. <laughs> so that you look good at the end. Because you guys saw that I went with five layers of concealer just for it to like look like where it looks like right now. The products that I will personally recommend for you guys, I will leave down below in the description box so you guys can check that out. You know what, I actually can't not the brand because you can see that they're actually putting some work into creating these products, especially with like the different undertones that they have and actually trying to cater to different skin tones as well. Of course, it's not like the best that we've seen, but with the price of each product, um, you can see that they've actually like really tried. And one, making it really affordable and accessible for a lot of people. And two, trying to cater to different skin tones and different skin types as well. I do believe that the brand has loads of potential. That is pretty much all I have to say. My camera is literally flashing, sunning that my battery is about to die. So thank you cousin so much for watching. Let me know what you think about the brand 17 down below and let me know what products you guys like and also let me know any other brands that you guys want me to try out let me know down below in the comment section please and thank you thank you so much for watching cousins i love you guys so bloody much and inshallah i'll catch you guys in my next video bye cousins Mwah.